Yo! Welcome back to some more Monster episode 29. The last episode was very, very successful. was great. Um, you know, and we get to know. Eh, well, not we. Um, the detective and the, the counselor knows now that this Johan guy is the one that been doing a lot of evil things in Munich, especially to Schoberto. Schoberto? <laughs> so, let's see what this episode gonna be, bro. Oh my god. I don't even. Johan! Oh! <laughs> あの、<笑><笑> ロゼマリオ。ちょっと見ない間に顔も変わったかな。でもね、僕には自信があるよ。ローゼマリーがどんなに大きくなってもあの子だってすぐにわかる。マイガイズチェンジングレッツゴー。時期が来たらこれをあの子に見せてやってく
何度言ったらわかるんですかこの役場は禁煙ですもう固いこと言わないで灰皿くれよダメです<笑> 4年前にここは火事になったでしょ書類が全部焼けて大変なことになったでしょその時に書類を作り直したんですかええー、個人申請で作り直したんですかルリーミスターディック<笑>ライヒワイン先生Who is he searching for? Hey, yo, is that Liebers? So he was pretending to be. The real Johan was born in the time when he was two. Inside the time. つまりリベルト夫妻は死んだ息子の身代わりを。So I feel like this is the, the a different neighbor than the one that we saw die in the first episode. So I feel like Johan. What? Okay, I'm so confused right now. Who is Rosemary? Ah, I'm good. I will come. Even if I will. Richard, San, Johan. What? This man, not that guy, Jurgens. Can't be seen. No. Did you ever meet him? I don't know. I don't know. Who asked Johan to meet Richard? 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 ちょっと待ってくれテープを回すの忘れていたもう一度最初から君もおいでよえ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおいでよ君もおい子供の権利条約の研究をしていましてお酒はいかがですかリヒャルトさんいや私は結構お酒やめられたんですねそうですよねお酒に酔った勢いで例の少年を処刑したんですから違いますかあああ酒の上とはいえ許されないことをしてしまったよ僕がお聞きしたいのはそれに関することですあなたが撃ち殺した少年ステファン・ヨース17歳彼はどんな罪を犯したんですか少年かあんな悪魔のような犯罪を17歳の少年が犯したレイプ殺人9件殺人ミス2件それで処刑した処刑じゃないあ失礼ところで子供の権利条約40条では法律に基づき有罪が立証されるまでは無罪と推定されるとあるのはご存知ですよねああ知ってるよ私は少年家にいたこともある気分を損ねられたのなら謝ります気分転換に少し歩きませんかこのウイスキーください夜風がまだまだ冷えますからね
。ああ、ドクターギーレ。ホイスライントゥーゴイ。ヒャルダ、まだ捕まらん。確か、幼い頃は東ベルリンの施設にいたとか。もっと知る必要がありますね。それが彼を語る上でも重要なポイントなんです彼のいた施設それはひどいところでした彼は実にいい子でしたでもあの施設で彼がどんなひどい目にあったかそこで彼の精神がどんなふうに切り刻まれていったか子どもの権利条約第6条生命への権利生存発達の確保第8条アイデンティティの保全第十九条虐待からの保護いやそんなものあげるのも虚しい悪夢のような場所だったんですよあの五一一キンダーハイムというところは He's from Kinderheim as well? なんでなぜ知ってるんださっきお宅で電話されてたのは娘さんですかんで電話されてたのは娘さんですか会われるんですか明日あたり。ウィル、ウェアユーコイン。お前の目的は大学のレポートを。Why are you following him this far, bro? あなたはお酒によって少年を撃ったと言いましたね。お前に私の質問に答えろ。I'm not liking this, bro. あの日、確かにあなたは少年を殺した後、バーで飲んでいる姿を目撃されているでもおかしいんですよね僕の調べたところだと少年を殺害する前にあなたが飲んでいる姿を見かけた人が一人もいないんですよあなた少年を撃った時飲んでいなかったんじゃないですかのシラフだった冷静だった彼を処刑しようと思って冷静に引き金を引いた違いますか違うなぜ忘れようとするんですかそれとも嘘をついているんですかその嘘は他人に対してですかそれとも自分に対してですかあの少年の罪は確定していましたかあなたに彼を処刑する権利はありますか嘘をつけばあなたの罪がなくなると思いますか Hey yo, why is he torturing him like that, bro? なんて重い罪なんだ。そんな重い罪を犯した人間が立派に立ち直ったような顔をして娘さんに会うんですか Come on, Richard, you're better than that, you know. どうです飲みませんかギレンドクターギレンかうん警察ですあなたの患者のリヒャルトブッあっうどう I don't get it, bro. I really don't get it. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not really confused now. <laughs> Because I feel like, you know, I rewatch it again, you know, think about it again, trying to piece the puzzle in my head. 
And you know what? After that, I was like, huh, it wasn't that confusing. <laughs> I don't know. There's some part I still like kind of a bit iffy with it. But other than that, it wasn't confusing episode that, that much. It was a great episode though. Like it was really, really great. I didn't really like the part where Richard killed himself though. <laughs> I really didn't like it. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 the way he was built up, you know, his character was built up. It's just, it felt like it wasn't befitting for his characters. I mean, for his character. Like, come on, man. Like, suicide, bro, really? I don't know. Man. I don't know what type of, like, method to kill him. But, like, I don't know. Uh, suicide wasn't it. You know what I mean? Suicide wasn't it. Like, on, on a real though, Richard was great, man. I really like him. His development was fun- fantastic, bro. Like, he was, we already know from the get go, he was a great detective. Like, he knew Edmund Farren's suicide wasn't just that. You know, it wasn't just simple. He knew what, he was more than that. And right from there, I was like, damn, this guy's great, bro. Amazing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, uh, it was so refreshing to see a great detective <laughs> lunch. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just, I don't know, like, like I said, like, you know, to see him improving episode by episode and then see him kill himself just like that. Uh, man, I feel like Johan was lucky to, uh, to make him kill himself. I feel like, uh, at that point, Richard was like 60% moved on from the case and more accepting it. I feel like if, you know, Johan waited like for maybe like a week, I think he will, he, he, he will probably move on or more like, yeah, I accept that it was my sin. Like I couldn't, I couldn't atone it. But the only way I could, uh, the only I, way I atone it is by solving this, this other cases. You know what I mean? But I feel maybe not just a month or maybe a month, uh, uh, a week, maybe a month or a year, I suppose, but. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like Johan didn't win this situation. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he l- still lost, still lose, because there's, um, what is his name? The counselor and Rudy, and obviously Tenma as well. So, hey, the good side will still win. I asked, and I, I, I like how the, the episode noted that, you know, the good side gonna win in the earlier episode saying, uh, the kid saying that, oh, isn't it a TV show? The bad guy always loses. <laughs> uh, man, I like that. <laughs> I like that part. I like how this arc, yeah, showing us like how Johan is, like how he manipulates people to trust him, how he tries to kill people through his words. Like, he's just the worst human being ever, bro. Like, and it's partially uh, Kinderheim's fault, you know what I mean? And, you know, the way he kills people is so, so bad. It's such a twat move, bro. Like, you know how, how mad that is, bro. Like, to, to, to use someone's low point as an advantage, yeah, that's, that's some, that's some deranged people will do, man. Like, really do it? Come on, man. You have to bring that up, bro. Then again, if I was Richard, I didn't, I, I'm not gonna feel any regret because, like, I, I, I spoke to my daughter. That's all I want. You know what I mean? I didn't get to meet her. I didn't get to meet her. That sucks. But in the same time, I get, I got to talk to her. And that's more than enough for me, man. You know what I mean? Like, I solved the, this case. Technically not, but in the same time, a huge chunk of this case was solved by me. So, like, you know, like I said, like, I'm not gonna feel any regret. I feel like I, I told my sin. Uh, on the topic of, about Liebert, I feel like, like I said, it was, this was a different Liebert. It was like saying, like, it was like, I feel like a common name, like Jack, you know, Jack Sparrow, but like you have Jack Gyllenhaal, you know what I mean? Same Jack, but it's not the same family or the same branches of like, you know, family, whatever. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like, it was weird because like, like I said, it was weird when I watched it. When I, when I was like, oh, you know what? They were, no, nah, they, they, they are not the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, when Johan came in Munich, he was like, yeah, this guy, uh, this guy, this family has the same like last name. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to burn the, uh, burn the city hall and then trying to, and then trying to manipulate this family saying that, oh, I'm your, I'm your son. Like, I'm, I, I didn't die, you know, I try to manipulate 
them. I don't know how they, how he manipulates <laughs> them into thinking that their dead son is actually not dead. That's mental, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know what, if what I'm saying was true, but like, I felt like that's the only logical explanation, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Uh, I don't know, like, it's kind of weird, but at the same time, like, it makes sense, I suppose, because, like, he wants to get near Shuals, because he was researching, researching, like, how do I get close to him? And he was like, oh, Carl's is his biological son. How about I get near him? Bada boom, bada bush. I got, I'm gonna get near to, I'm gonna get what I want, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, because, like, he needs, uh, d- uh, the labors is because like to attend university you have to have like your parents information this and that so he had to do that so I guess fair, fair play to Johan I suppose <sighs> this episode man I don't know I don't know how to feel bro because like those two moments yeah with like uh, the guy with the butcher guy and as well as Richard's death <sighs> it's just shock it's a sh- I don't know man <laughs> I don't know man I don't know But yeah That was a great episode I really liked it But it was just It wasn't It wasn't It wasn't good rewatching. watching it, it, I, I can tell you It wasn't great To rewatch it again man Like <laughs> uh, But I do do I, well, One more thing Yeah I don't like Yeah It's the pure co- coincidence I feel like That time We You know In the city hall I feel like they could have done better with like how the old man, I feel like if the old man was sitting the opposite direction of Richard, I feel like it was more believable than sitting next to him, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe like, you know, there's some pure coincidence in this series and I feel like it's just like, oh, come on, man. But I, I guess like it was minimal, so I guess I let them off. But yeah, overall, it was a, this was a good episode. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, hit the button subscribe if you want more of Monster, and I shall see you in the next episode. Peace.